Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. So now we're gonna, now we've had a look at these guys, we've got them up and running and they're all testing okay, we've had a listen, it's all great. We're gonna be looking now at upgrading. Um, the parts in here are, they're okay, not brilliant. Some of them are the stock parts of the actual kit. Uh, used to supply. I know that because I used to put them. I used to put them together with Will Audio Design. Um, there's a few things I would definitely keep. So here we've got the black gates on the cathode of the six AU six. Definitely keep that one. I'd uh, to give it a test before using it again. Um, and they've got an audio note 0.47 under there, but I've got a feeling that's a paper version. So I'd rather have a mylar if I'm going to use an audio note. Um, this one here was to replace a paper one from audio note. So the, on the other amp, I've got the audio note mylar one in there, so I'll probably replace that. So these I keep, but the rest of it I just strip out and clean up a bit. Um, the soldering isn't the best. Um, one of the amps, the other one was a bit noisy, and I would say that would be now to solder, soldering. So for the basis of our kind of upgrade, it's effectively a rebuild. Um, we're going to use this glasshouse board. Probably go for the silver version. We now sell um, our own glasshouse. Glasshouse is the Alpha Collective's in-house brand. We now sell this board with nickel plated, silver plated and gold plated. This is a gold plated one. I will probably use a silver one. I do prefer the sound of silver. So these, which is the exact the same dimensions as those, they'll just sit on there, three boards there. Um, so that's one thing we will do. Um, so we're gonna be looking at the circuit diagram here, of the 300 B PSE and deciding what components to go for. I'm thinking of overall budget of about 600 pounds, considering the basis of this kit is quite high quality. You've got, I know it looks a bit ropey now, because it's kind of tarnished, oxidized, but this will clean up and it will look gorgeous. Um, you could go to the expense of getting it lacquered, um, but I probably won't, I'll just leave it. Let nature do its thing. Transformers, good quality transformers. So yeah, ideally that would be kind of the price mark we're looking at. I'm gonna focus on the power supply circuit, which is this one here. Um, you can see that already it's had a bit of an upgrade. The, the guy I got this from has popped in a couple of 100 UF tube caps, which I will quite happily keep in there. Not sure about this arrangement for la lashing it in place. We'll see what we can do. There's not a lot of space there. Um, we might keep that or see how we get, see how we get on. Um, and then if you just check out the circuit here, these two sets of resistors here are your bleeder resistors. They just ensure that the electrolytics are discharged once it's the amps turned off, just to avoid any kind of shocks if you go in there and start playing around with it. So for these two 20Ks here, which on the board, he actually, I don't think he's fitted them because I can't see him. Oh, here they are. So here's your two 20 here, these are two watt carbons here he's put in, but basically I'll put some two watt TKDTs, which are metal films, good quality metal films. So that's that one, Mundus we've done there. On a similar vein, there's a 15K one watt resistor there, which drops the voltage down to feed the um, 6AU6, the first valve. So on here, that's this one. Looks a bit tarnished, so I'm gonna up it to a two watt. 
and I'm going to again put the TKD in there and looking this part here is the circuit that supplies the ECC um, 82 so this cap all these 100 UF 250 volt caps which you can see two over here there's two there there's two underneath we'll swap those for some F&T's axials as well which is good because it just makes for easy fitting um, so that's those done for the 1k here which is part of a just drops it down to a bit of voltage so you can have another bit of smoothing going on with more caps we're going to be putting one watt Tapman resistors very little current goes through here so you don't need anything big again for here this is a voltage dropper that feeds the bias of your um, 200 bs in fact we're going to just use again Tapman metal films um, 10 UF 250 volt we could probably go for an Alma Silmic cap there um, all these bridge rectifiers I will just keep as originally uh, recommended that'll be fine um, this cap which is a reservoir cap that powers the DC supply for the 6AU6 we'll go for a, a Nichicon FG super through so that would be a good place for that so that oh also you've got your um, earth lift resistor which sits between the chassis and the circuitry um, basically that stops kind of hum loops going on I'll put a 10R 5 watt audio gold so it'd be great at that location quite powerful and you can just hold hold the juice um, so that's your power supply so probably looking about 100 100 pounds spend on that it's not too bad i mean you you, you want to put your key key money goes into the signal stuff but it's always good to have a, a nice clean supply so now we're on to our circuit here for the signal portion so you can see here this is your 6AU6 some of the components actually sit just above you can't really see it very well um, so for your grid stopper which is a vital component as you can see the signals coming in here straight through that resistor absolutely have to go for a Charcroft Z foil that's a, that's a 10k so that's there for the 100k there you don't anything particularly special just a Tapman carbon film would be fine the signal's not going through there it's just lifting off the earth key component here is your anode um, I'd like the sound of the carbon films um, the AMRGs from Amtrans so we'll put a 2 watt 100k in there the 0.22 Already we have one um, audio note uh, copper foil, so the Marlar film one. So we'll just put another one in this circuit. This is what this orange drop is covering because we had an issue previously. Um, for the 0 0.47, probably going to go for a um, Supreme cap there, which is a Mundle product it's nice to mix them up so have polypropylene so quite analytical detailed um, whereas carbon the copper foil caps paper and oils generally are very lively sounding so it's a good combination to have and then here we're going to be putting we're going to replace these two resistors because obviously it's 150k 100k in Series gives you 250k. We're going to put a 2 watt um, non magnetic audio note resistor in there. So, th oh, also we've got the, the bypass 
cathode bypass here of the valve. If you recall, there's a black gate there, so we're going to st stick with the black gate. For the 33R, I will put in an audio note non-magnetic there because they're very neutral sounding. Um, here we've got a one meg. Again, as, as we've done here, half watt Tapman will be fine. Um, for the, the actual cathode resistors here on the ECC82, we'll go for, um, what will we go for on that one? Hold on. Five watt mills. So you can see here, that's these chappies. So that will work nicely there, in my opinion. Um, there's only a handful left now. So this circuitry here and here will go for the audio gold, five watts. Um, plenty of juice goes through here, so you want a resistor that can cope with it all, and they'll originally are four loudspeaker crossovers, so they can cope with a lot of current. So that's good. For here, which is the humbucker, we're going to go for an AB electronic one, which we have. That would be fine. It would be a lot cleaner than these, the one we've got, the ones we've got fitted at the moment. Um, for here, we're going to go all out for the 100 UF, 100 volt on the cathode of the 300 B. We're going to put the um, audio note K size. These will be the non-polar. So you can use a non-polar in a polar situation. These, you know, they're saying use a polar, but it doesn't really matter. Use a non-polar. For the 470R, we'll put the 12 watt mils. Um, and then the last but not least, you've got the feedback. Now, generally I'd use feedback off, but I'm gonna leave it in there anyway. So for the 2.2 nanofarad, we're gonna use the silver mica that comes from Charcroft. And then for the 680R, we'll go for a non-mag um, audio note resistor. So that's it. We'll get a list together for you um, so you can have a look of what we're gonna go for. And also circuit, we'll give you pop, pop circuit up there for you. Next time you see us, we're gonna get the soldering iron out and start taking this baby apart. See you later.